Question 1. If your front wheel locks while you are stopping, you should A. Continue to apply the front brake B. Release the front brake and only use the rear brake C. Immediately release the front brake, then reapply the brake firmly The correct answer C. Immediately release the front brake, then reapply the brake firmly. If your front wheel locks during a quick stop, releasing the front brake immediately allows the wheel to start turning again, regaining traction. After releasing, you can then reapply the front brake more progressively and firmly. Additionally, using both the front and rear brakes in the right balance is essential for effective and controlled quick stops. This technique, known as progressive braking, helps prevent skidding and enhances your ability to stop quickly and safely. Question 2. When wearing a jacket for protection, the jacket should A. Be loose-fitting and flap in the wind while riding. B. Fit snugly. C. Be uncomfortable. The correct answer B. Fit snugly. When it comes to motorcycle riding, the right clothing should strike a balance between protection and comfort. Jackets and pants should fit snugly enough to avoid flapping in the wind, which can be distracting and potentially hazardous. However, they shouldn't be so tight as to restrict your movements, as comfortable and unrestricted movement is crucial for safe riding. Additionally, proper fitting gear provides better protection in the event of a fall or accident. Question 3. What does this sign mean? A. Signal ahead. B. Crossroad ahead. C. Divided roadway ahead. The correct answer. C. Divided roadway ahead. Warning signs in the United States are typically yellow with black lettering or symbols, and they convey important information about upcoming road conditions. A warning sign indicating a divided roadway ahead often features an arrow pointing to the left or right indicating that the road will soon split into two separate lanes or directions. Motorists should pay close attention to these signs and adjust their driving accordingly. Question 4. Which factor does not play a major role in affecting your blood alcohol content? BAC? A. Age. B. The amount of alcohol consumed. C. Body weight. The correct answer. A. Age. The key factors influencing a person's blood alcohol content, BAC, include the amount and speed of alcohol consumption, the person's body weight, metabolism, gender, and whether they have eaten. Heavier individuals generally have a lower BAC, while factors like age and liver health affect how efficiently the body metabolizes alcohol. Question 5. When you are being passed on the left, you should A. Speed up. B. Ride in the right portion of the lane. C. Ride in the center portion of the lane. The correct answer. C. Ride in the center portion of the lane. When being passed on your left, it's recommended to ride in the right portion of your lane. This increases your visibility to the passing driver and reduces the likelihood of them trying to share the lane with you. Riding in the center or left portion might make it tempting for the passing driver to re-enter the lane too quickly, potentially leading to a dangerous situation. Question 6. When approaching a blind intersection, riders should A. Stop at the stop line before moving forward to improve their view of cross traffic. B. Ignore the stop line and move forward to get a better look. C. Stop at the stop line then proceed through the intersection. The correct answer A. Stop at the stop line before moving forward to improve their view of cross traffic. Approach a blind intersection with a stop line slash sign. Stop first, then edge forward, stopping just before the cross traffic lane. Lean forward to check for oncoming traffic around obstacles. Ensure your front wheel stays out of the crossroad while checking. Proceed only when it's safe. Question 7. Your motorcycle should fit you, meaning A. Your fingertips should barely reach the handlebars when you are seated on the motorcycle. B. 
the seat should be one foot higher than your waist when you are standing next to the motorcycle. C. Your feet should comfortably reach the ground when you are seated on the motorcycle. The correct answer. C. Your feet should comfortably reach the ground when you are seated on the motorcycle. Ensuring a motorcycle fits you properly is crucial for safety and comfort. Your feet should comfortably reach the ground while you're seated. Before riding, make sure the motorcycle fits you to promote control and stability during operation. Question 8. If your motorcycle begins to weave while you are riding over rain grooves or bridge gratings, you should A. Speed up to get over the surface faster. B. Exaggerate the zigzag motion to get the attention of other drivers. C. Maintain a steady speed and ride straight across the grooves or gratings. The correct answer. C. Maintain a steady speed and ride straight across the grooves or gratings. If your motorcycle begins to weave while riding over grooves or gratings, maintaining a steady speed and proceeding straight across the surface is the safest course of action. Attempting to compensate for the weave by riding at an angle or zigzagging can be more dangerous, potentially leading to a loss of control. Staying calm, keeping a steady course, and allowing the motorcycle to pass over the uneven surface without abrupt maneuvers is the recommended approach. Question 9. Stopping in a turn can be difficult because A. There is decreased traction available for stopping while the bike is leaning. B. The rider is usually focused on the turn and not on the braking. C. The brake controls do not work in turns. The correct answer. A. There is decreased traction available for stopping while the bike is leaning. Using both brakes while turning on a motorcycle is possible but requires caution. When turning, some traction is already engaged in making the turn, so applying both brakes can reduce the available traction for stopping. It's crucial to use the brakes judiciously to maintain control and avoid skidding. Riders should be mindful of the road conditions and adjust braking accordingly for safe maneuvering through turns. Question 10. The proper action to take when riding an unfamiliar motorcycle for the first time is to A. Just start riding. There is no better way to learn than by doing. B. Just start riding. Most bikes are similar, so you don't have to take the time to identify safety features. C. Work the throttle, clutch, and brakes before riding to learn the bike's gear pattern. The correct answer. C. Work the throttle, clutch, and brakes before riding to learn the bike's gear pattern. Before riding an unfamiliar motorcycle, take the time to familiarize yourself with its operation. Conduct a safety and maintenance check, locate controls, and practice with the throttle, clutch, and brakes. Learn the gear pattern before hitting the road. Each bike is unique, so understanding its features enhances safety and overall riding experience. Question 11. If you have a passenger aboard your motorcycle, you should do all of the following, except A. Ride at speeds that are slower than usual. B. Allow more distance to stop than usual. C. Tell the passenger to hold on to the back of the bike. The correct answer. C. Tell the passenger to hold on to the back of the bike. When carrying a passenger on a motorcycle, be aware that handling will differ due to the added weight. Ride at slower speeds, and allow more time and distance for slowing down and stopping. Passengers should hold firmly onto the motorcycle's passenger hand grips or the operator's waist, hips, or midsection for stability and safety. Communication between the rider and passenger is essential for a smooth and secure riding experience. Question 12. A rider's boots or shoes should A. Be below their ankles. B. Cover their ankles. C. Be made of a soft, pliable material. The correct answer.
B. Cover their ankles. Select sturdy footwear for riding that covers and supports your ankles. Opt for shoes with hard, durable, slip-resistant soles to provide a secure grip on the motorcycle controls and the road. This choice enhances safety and stability while riding. Question 13. When riding, your feet should be A. On the gas tank B. Hanging loosely C. On the footrests The correct answer C. On the footrests Keeping your feet on the footrests while riding is essential for maintaining proper balance and control of the motorcycle. This position ensures that your feet are ready to operate the controls when needed and helps prevent any accidental contact with the ground or obstacles. It's a fundamental aspect of safe motorcycle riding. Question 14. Which of the following materials provides the best protection for motorcycle riders? A. Fleece. B. Leather. C. Denim. The correct answer. B. Leather. Indeed, clothing made from leather or durable synthetic materials offers the highest level of protection for motorcycle riders. These materials provide abrasion resistance and can help minimize injuries in the event of a fall or accident. It's crucial to prioritize safety by wearing appropriate protective gear while riding. Question 15. The safest part of the lane? A. Is always the left portion of the lane. B. Is always the right portion of the lane. C. Changes depending on the situation. The correct answer. C. Changes depending on the situation. There isn't a universally optimal or consistently avoidable lane position for motorcycle riding. Adapt your lane position based on the current circumstances and conditions. Flexibility in adjusting your position enhances safety and allows you to respond effectively to varying road and traffic situations. Question 16. You should flash your brake light to A. Tell other motorists that you are riding near them. B. Help other motorists see your motorcycle while traveling in slow traffic. C. Tell other motorists that you are going to slow down or stop where they don't expect you to do so. The correct answer. C. Tell other motorists that you are going to slow down or stop where they don't expect you to do so. Using brake lights to communicate with other road users is essential for motorcycle riders. It becomes particularly crucial when making tight, fast turns off high-speed roadways. Flashing the brake lights before slowing down in such situations alerts other drivers. Additionally, motorcyclists should use this signal in any location where unexpected slowing might occur, enhancing overall safety on the road. Question 16. For motorcycle operators, eye protection is A. Required B. Not required, but recommended C. Not recommended The correct answer A. Required. Georgia law mandated that motorcycle operators must use proper eye protection while riding. This requirement is in place to enhance safety by minimizing the risk of eye injuries from debris, wind, insects, and other potential hazards on the road. Eye protection can take various forms, such as helmets with face shields, goggles, or glasses designed to shield the eyes from elements that could impair vision. Question 18. When traveling at night, you should A. Ride as fast as you would if riding during the day. B. Ride more slowly than you would if riding during the day. C. Ride faster than you would if riding during the day. The correct answer.
B. Ride more slowly than you would if riding during the day. When riding at night, it's advisable to travel at a slower pace compared to daytime, especially on unfamiliar roads. Riding more slowly provides additional time to identify and respond to potential hazards, crucial in conditions of reduced visibility. This cautious approach enhances safety and reduces the risk of accidents during nighttime riding. Question 19. If your motorcycle starts to weave while riding over uneven metal bridge gratings, you should A. Downshift immediately to a lower gear B. Proceed in a zigzag pattern until you cross the bridge C. Relax and steer straight The correct answer C. Relax and steer straight if your motorcycle starts to weave while traversing uneven rain grooves or bridge gratings, it's advisable to remain calm and proceed straight across at a steady speed. Attempting to steer in a zigzag pattern can be more hazardous than the weaving itself. Relaxing your grip on the handlebars and maintaining a stable, straight path will help you navigate such road conditions more safely. Question 20. A plastic, shatter-resistant face shield. A. Protects your face, but not your eyes. B. Protects your eyes, but not your whole face. C. Helps protect your whole face. The correct answer. C. Helps protect your whole face. A plastic. Shatter-resistant face shield on a helmet provides comprehensive protection for the face, including the eyes, in the event of a crash. This shield is designed to withstand impact and debris, offering a higher level of safety compared to a windshield. A windshield on its own is not an adequate substitute for a face shield, as it doesn't provide the same level of protection for the rider's face and eyes. Wearing appropriate safety gear, including a helmet with a face shield, is crucial for motorcyclists to reduce the risk of injury in the event of an accident. Question 21. Lanes of traffic moving in the same direction are separated by A. White lines B. Yellow lines C. Road signs The correct answer A. White lines White lines on roadways are used to separate traffic moving in the same direction. Solid white lines typically indicate that drivers are not allowed to pass, and dashed white lines indicate that passing is permitted, as long as it is safe to do so. Understanding and obeying these road markings is essential for safe and legal driving. They help manage traffic flow and reduce the risk of accidents by providing clear guidelines for passing and lane discipline. Question 22. Helmets are A. Required for all riders. B. Not required, but recommended. C. Only required for inexperienced motorcycle users. The correct answer. A. Required for all riders. In Georgia, wearing U.S. Department of Transportation, DOT compliant helmets are required by law for motorcycle riders. Helmets are recognized as a vital safety measure, providing protection against head and neck injuries in the event of an accident. It's essential for riders to comply with helmet laws and prioritize their safety on the road. Question 23. When attempting to pass another vehicle, you should A. Ride within the posted speed limits B. Exceed the posted speed limit to complete the pass, but not by more than 10 miles per hour C. Pass more than one vehicle at a time. The correct answer. A. Ride within the posted speed limits. When riding a motorcycle or driving any vehicle, passing should only be done within legal speed limits and in areas where it is safe and permitted by traffic laws. Passing inappropriately or exceeding speed limits can pose serious safety risks and may lead to accidents. It's important for riders and drivers to exercise caution follow traffic regulations, and use good judgment when deciding to pass other vehicles on the road. Question 24. 
When sitting on a motorcycle, your arms should A. Have a large bend at the elbow when reaching for the handle grips. B. Be slightly bent when holding the handle grips. C. Be fully extended when reaching for the handle grips. The correct answer. B. Be slightly bent when holding the handle grips. When riding a motorcycle, maintaining a slight bend in your arms while holding the handle grips is recommended. This position helps reduce arm fatigue and allows for more responsive control of the motorcycle. It also enables you to exert pressure on the handlebars without overstretching, providing better stability and maneuverability. Riding with slightly bent arms contributes to overall comfort and control, especially during extended periods of riding. Question 25. To reduce the chances of a collision, a motorcycle rider should A. Maintain an adequate space cushion. B. Ride very slowly. C. Ride the center line. The correct answer A. Maintain an adequate space cushion. Maintaining an adequate cushion of space is crucial for reducing the chances of being involved in a collision. This space cushion provides you with time to react to unexpected situations, sudden stops, or maneuvers by other vehicles. Whether you're following, being followed, passing, being passed, or lane sharing, Keeping a safe distance enhances overall road safety and gives you more control over your own movements and responses to changing road conditions. Question 26. Noise created by wind. A. Is easy to get used to. B. May cause irreversible hearing damage. C. Is never a danger. The correct answer. B may cause irreversible hearing damage. Long-term exposure to wide noise when riding a motorcycle can indeed lead to permanent hearing damage. Using proper earplugs or other forms of hearing protection is a recommended practice to mitigate this risk. Quality ear protection can help reduce wind noise while still allowing riders to hear important sounds like traffic and horns. Question 27. Which of the following is not a factor in determining a person's blood alcohol content, BAC? A. The amount of alcohol consumed. B. How quickly the alcohol is consumed. C. How often the person consumes alcohol. The correct answer. C. How often the person consumes alcohol. The main factors influencing a person's blood alcohol content, BAC, include body weight, the amount of alcohol consumed, and the speed at which it is consumed. It's crucial to highlight that the safest choice is to abstain from riding after consuming any amount of alcohol. Riding under the influence of alcohol significantly impairs judgment, coordination, and reaction time, increasing the risk of accidents and injuries. Question 28. What can remove alcohol from a person's system? A. Time. B. Coffee. C. Exercise. The correct answer. A. Time. The human body metabolizes alcohol at a relatively constant rate, and no techniques can significantly speed up this process. The only way to sober up after drinking is to allow your body the necessary time to eliminate the alcohol. Factors such as the amount of alcohol consumed, your weight, metabolism, and other individual characteristics contribute to how long it takes for your body to process alcohol. Question 29. A flat front tire is especially dangerous because A. The front tire affects your steering, which also affects your balance. B. The front tire being flat will disable the front brake. C. The front tire being flat will prevent you from accelerating. The correct answer A. The front tire affects your steering, which also affects your balance. A flat front tire on a motorcycle is particularly dangerous because it compromises the rider's ability to steer effectively, which is crucial for maintaining balance and control. If you notice that steering becomes heavy or more difficult, it could be an indication of a flat front tire. 
In such situations, it's important to respond promptly, safely pull over, and assess the condition of the tire. Riding with a flat tire increases the risk of loss of control and accidents, making it essential to address the issue before continuing. Regular tire maintenance and checks are crucial for motorcycle safety. Question 30. The operator of any motor vehicle involved in a collision resulting in more than $1,000 worth of property damage must A. File a report, but only if planning to report the accident to their insurance company. B. Submit a report of the accident to the DMV. C. Contact the highway department. The correct answer. B. Submit a report of the accident to the DMV. The requirement to submit a collision report to the Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV, after a motor vehicle collision resulting in property damages greater than $1,000 is a common practice in many jurisdictions. This reporting is important for record keeping and assessing the impact on public safety. In addition, in cases of uninsured reportable collisions, where one or more parties involved lack insurance coverage, the DMV may have the authority to impose sanctions or penalties on the parties responsible.